part two of how to book more clients. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to start your magazines. So if you haven't watched the first part, I encourage you to go do that so you kind of know what's going on. We are going to be using MagCloud, which is our free online service on how to visually display our magazines to our clients when we email them about how much do we charge. <laughs> so I think the easiest way for you guys to get started is to go to magcloud.com and I will leave this link in the description box below. Um, they have resources where you can download a template where it already has their bleed lines and their requirements, which is awesome. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom, click Photoshop because we're going to be working in PSD files. It's going to download a zip folder and then it's going to give you not only instructions, but also a left and right page template. So let's open those up in Photoshop. Both of them. <laughs> and then, so you see the bleed lines right here. So your blue one is gonna be your image bleed line. So anything obviously past that is gonna get cut off. And your red one is as far as you want text to go. So don't have text any further off of this or else it would get cut off if you ended up printing it or um, even displaying it. I think they trim it a little bit. All right, so I like working in full page spreads. This allows me to get more of a visual idea of what I'm working with versus just a left and a right page. For example, this is a spread from one of my magazines and it just gives me a full image size of what the um, end outcome is going to look like versus trying to cut her off halfway and trying to visualize everything if that makes sense. So we are going to take our templates and make it into a two page full spread. So what we're going to do in Photoshop is go file new. Let's go magazine template. And your dimensions on your width, it's going to be 17 inches, and your height is 11 at 300 resolution. So we'll say OK. Now, the nice part about downloading those um, templates, excuse me, is that we already have our bleed line. So you just go over to your layers palette. I'm sorry, my Photoshop is a little crazy right now. It always constantly moves. Anybody else do that? I feel like mine's always a mess. Okay. So in your layers, it says delete before saving, and that's important too for later on, but that's your guideline. So I'm just going to take that layer and drag it over to our full page spread. And it is going to need a little adjusting. So I'm going to go free transform. And if you don't know the command shortcut, you just go to edit and then free transform. You can get there too. But I hold down the shift key to keep the ratio and dimensions all the same. And I line it up. And then we apply it. Sorry, my computer's going a little slow since I am recording my screen. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing with our right page. We'll just drag that over. Do this for you. Same thing, it needs just a little bit of adjustment. Hold down the shift key and drag it to where I need it to lock in. Hit enter to apply the transformation. All right, and then there is our full page spread of where we will be working with. So again, the blue line is our bleed line for our picture. We don't want anything important in our image to go in this blue line. And then the red one will be our text. Our text does not want to go in here or else it risks getting cut off. The middle layer where it's dark purple because the overlapping, that is our gutter line. We also don't want anything important to be in there, especially when you're doing full images like this. You don't want the face or the nose to be caught in that gutter line because it just, if you end up printing it later, it's going to squish it and not be so flattering. <laughs> um, so now this is what you'll be working with. Now when you're done designing your full page spread, you're going to want to hide them or delete these layers that say delete before saving, which is a nice reminder, and then you're going to flatten the image and save it as a JPEG. And once you get all your JPEGs all organized, then you're going to go into your PDF, which is Acrobat for me, PDF Maker, and then you're going to merge all your files into one large PDF. And once you get them all merged into one file PDF, that's what you're going to upload to MacCloud. So just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you my magazine on here. So once you have your publication all uploaded to MagCloud, and it'll tell you it's ready to view, once you click on that, let's do this full frame here, full screen. Give it a minute to upload. 
Okay, so this is what's going to be sent to your client. So you send them the link and they'll click on your link and then it'll show like this. So then they can flip through your pages and it will, again, it'll go faster because I'm recording my screen so it's a little sluggish. But it just feels cool. Like you can fill up the full page with your work of information. Feels like you're flipping through a magazine. Really clean, really nice, easy to get where you need to go. Just quickly show mine. This is an older one too, by the way, so <laughs> information in my social media has changed since then, but I did want to show you some sample of what you guys will be making, hopefully. There's some reviews, so I, all this is information before we even get to the prices, and then I have my prices laid out, no, nothing hidden. I lay it all out there, make sure it's clean and easy to understand. Okay, and because I work with minors, I usually write a letter to the parents at the end of all my stuff. Anytime you're working with young children or young teenagers, always acknowledge the parents. They love that. That's a free tip for you. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions on actually how to merge your files into PDF, if you haven't done that very often, or how to upload it to the actual website, if you need more help, please let me know by a comment down below, and I can do a third tutorial on that. It's really easy, but I can definitely help you with that as well. So if you get this done by chance, I would love to look at it. Please leave me a link below or email me separately if you're not comfortable. Leave in a comment below and I will take a look at it. If you have any more questions, always feel free to ask me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys, I hope you guys are rocking your business and this helps you book more clients and more success for you and your photography adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.